Hey guys, this is Fish Taco. So today I'm going to show off lossless, uh, lossless scaling frame generation uh, using the lossless scaling program. It's on Steam. Doesn't actually cost that much either. Uh, so I'm at 1080p. Capped it. Oh, I got to cap it to 60. Hang on. Blink. Uh, 60. There we go. Okay, uh, and I'm at the high preset, but with depth of field and motion blur off, you always want to turn these off for using frame gen. Now, uh, so as you can see, it, it does sit at 60 if I look at something really basic like a wall, but when I turn around and then start moving around with enemies, uh, you can see it drops down to like the 50s and such. Uh, and uh, if I stand here also, you can see it's using like 85 percent a bit more uh, and when it gets really intense it'll, it'll just jump up to max and then start dropping even further in performance so instead what you can do is uh, I'll just I keep using my main PC's keyboard by instinct I've got my laptop next to me so what you do is you go 30, I mean, this is one method. I'm going to show you a better one, in my opinion, as long as you have the, the, the performance headroom. So, cap to 30, uh, and then you go non-performance mode X2, or you can go performance mode. It's pretty rough doing 30 to 60, though. So, now, we turn on with uh, Control-Alt-S, and as you can see, it is a bit rough on the character, in particular. Like, look at his head. Really, really strong flickering at 30 to 60. Now, um, but you can see, if I stand at this same viewpoint, it was like 85%, now it's 62%. So it's really good for lower spec PCs. Now, what you can instead do, and I think this is a great solution as long as you had some headroom, like if you were sitting at 50 FPS minimum, which is roughly what mine was dropping to in intense situations, what you can do is limit it to 40, limit to 40, uh, and then basically with the new update of lossless frame gen, it actually will discard frames uh, more than your refresh rate. So it would be 40 to 80 before, even if your refresh rate was lower. Now it will only go up to what your refresh rate is, in this case 60, and the game runs at 60 anyway. Um, and what that does is you get a higher base frame rate that it's scaling from. So as you can see, like my sword looked terrible in particular before with the flickering. Now it's it's light flickering, but it's only on the character really. And the edges of the screen are distorting less, which was a big issue. And we're not getting any drop, so it's rock solid in the um in the low percentage frames or whatever it is, 0.1% are lows. Uh, and if I look here, it's using like Eh, getting to the same amount it was at 60 but if this drops because it could drop all the way to 30 and I'd still be up uh, frame generating up to 60 it might have a bit more artifacting if it did drop FPS but it's got that headroom basically um, and it, yeah I, I just think it's great and I thought I'd show you two different things uh, what you could do at the 40 uh, refresh rate what you could do when you drop it to 40 or raise the FPS to 40 is you put uh, performance mode it'll still look better than scaling with non-performance mode uh, and it'll use less so like look now I'm looking out there and it's only using 70% whereas without this uh, lossless scaling performance mode it was using 85 when I looked out here you know so, yeah, I just thought I'd show off that, because that's something new with uh, lossless scaling that hasn't been shown as much, is that if you raise your base FPS to, like, 40 instead of 30, there's way less artifacting. Oh, hi. And... gotcha. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.